Hello, my name is Will Thompson. I'm in the eighth grade here at Bishop Lejeune, and this is my second year doing science fair. Uh, the title of my project is How Does Voltage Affect the Rotation Speed of a DC Motor? Uh, I did this because I kind of like electricity. I did something like this, like with electricity and batteries and stuff like that last year, and I kind of wanted to just see because voltage is like the power pushing electrical current through a wire. So I wanted to see if that would make the motor spin faster. I hypothesized that it, that it would, because, so if you think of, like, electrical current, well, if you think of electrical current, it's, like, all continuously going. And around it, there's a constantly rotating magnetic field. And I thought that because, you know, as I said, voltage is the power pushing it there, it might make the magnetic field spin faster. And because it's a DC motor, DC is direct current, it's a motor, so it uses magnets. Uh, the magnetic field hooks onto the magnets, and that's what causes it to spin. So I thought that, yeah, that if I increase the voltage, it would increase the spinning of the motor. Uh, my dependent variable was the rotations per minute, or RPMs, uh, depending on the voltage that I was using at that time. My independent variable was how much voltage was actually coming from my power, power supply here. No, it's not very good on the camera. Um, and my control variables were how I had my power supply and motor connected. Make sure that they're using constant voltage and electricity the whole time. Uh, my materials were I had my tachometer here, which I used to record my uh, data or, or I used to record how many rotations per minute. Uh, my power supply as I already said and my motor of course. I also had my notebook for keeping track of the data. These two tables that I used for uh, sanding it up and I used some motor oil so the thing would spin uh, slowly. I used the same amount of motor oil each time so it, would, so it wouldn't affect how fast it spun. Uh, <clears throat> so first, I, got, I obtained everything, and then I tested each, all my materials. I just tested my tachometer by just shining it against the wall, and then I created something a little bit smaller to make sure that it was actually picking it up how many times it uh, rotated. Just get it to work and make sure it worked. Um, then I set, I got my notebook ready, set it with the data plots so I could put my data down once I got it and then I start put my starting voltage at 1.5 and recorded five vo recorded five rotations per minute radians per each of my intervals my intervals were 0 0.5 so it went from 1.5 to 2 to 2.5 etc uh, I did that 10 times so I ended up at 6.0 uh, it showed that my uh, my hypothesis was definitely correct, so that worked. Um, it said it showed that um, it went up by like it went from I think one thousand rotations per minute, yeah, like one like around one thousand rotations per minute to one thousand five hundred. It went at one thousand at one point five volts to 1,500 at 2 volts, which was the biggest jump on in the experiment. But other than that, it stayed kind of um, slow, making only jumps of about 200, like 100 to 300, and then you know, and then going up. But there weren't, on my five readings, there weren't, there wasn't much difference. Only difference of like one or two, one or two rotations per minute, which is good. It's good for different, like, because it, uh, so yeah, that's what I've concluded, that if you want to increase rotations per minute, you can increase uh, voltage. It's good to increase the voltage, yeah. Uh, I also, what I would have liked to, done, to have done differently is these wires are very, very thin. And if you think about it, so because it's like the pushing, it's pushing the actual current. Is it easier to push water through a tube this big? Or a tube this big, which one's going to get more resistance? Uh, obviously, the smaller tube's going to get more resistance because you can't get as much water through it at a time. So the the bigger it is, the more water you can get through without with less resistance. 
So that's the same thing with electrical current. Those wires were just so small that it had so much resistance. So when I got to 6 volts, the wires started smoking. Uh, or else I would have gone a little bit. Probably would have gone until I couldn't do it anymore. So I would have. I wish I'd gotten more bigger wires so I could have done uh, gotten better data, more data points. Uh, yeah, thanks for your time and judging my science or 